You guys. Guess who that is. Guess who showed up at our front door. And so like I upload this video after waiting between 20 to 30 days. And it was closer to 30 of Mason Cat missing. He shows up. Like I uploaded the video and there he is. True, true miracle. It's a cat miracle. So Karen pointed out the window and said, is that, is that Mason? There's a cat running down the street. And I look out and I didn't see anything. So I grabbed this camera and I couldn't get it turned on fast enough. So I'm going to show you security camera footage. I, I tried to turn on the camera, but I was more concerned with getting him out of the street. And so I opened the window and started calling his name and you can hear it on the camera. And then there's silence. And my heart sank. I thought, well, she probably saw a rabbit. And suddenly he comes running up the driveway. I'm going to show you that footage. There's a cat at the front door. Come here, here, puppies. Come on. Come on. Here. Come. Come. No, come. Here. Look. Look. Come here. Get Sendrick up here. Come on. Come on. Did Mason just come home after a month? Okay, this is not. This is. Holy crap. He, well, hello. I just made a video that he was gone. Hello. Hi. Come well, here. Welcome home. Well, hi. How many months later? Close that door. Well, hi. Oh, you want some food? Hi. Oh my goodness, kitty. Mason is back. I got huge tears. Oh, hi. Hi. You look healthy. Yeah, a little. Oh, really skinny, but healthy. Hi. Oh, look at. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> I'm so happy. He's, he is really skinny. Yes, he's I... he's very skinny. Yeah, well, probably. Honey. Oh hi! Oh. oh yes! I bet you he was trapped in somewhere. And we just made a video saying that an owl got him because there's been lots of evidence of owls that getting things in the neighborhood. And I don't want to be gross, but. The owls have been, there's more than one we found out, have been eating a lot. This is the best day. I was just making a video about you being gone and released it. It's too late. I can't recall the video. You are back. This is, and Karen saw him walking down the street. So we called out the window and he came right to the house. Oh my goodness, we got our mason back. Oh yeah, we, you could eat lots of fatty food and fish. You want some, you want some fish? Yeah, we got salmon for you. I need to call the vet and ask them what a rehab plan would be. Cause yeah. he looks healthy, but he's very skinny. He was trapped in somebody's shed or garage because if someone had mm -hmm. taken them, they would have fed them. I thought you were owl food. Maybe you're too skinny for an owl. <laughs> hi. hi, buddy. Yeah, welcome home. And you look like you're in really good shape other than being too skinny. Oh, yeah. Oh. Are you so happy, Coho? Huh? He was gone for, I would say, over 30. But I didn't really track today because he usually, he gets out a lot. And 
Well, three to four times a year, but when he gets out, he goes for 20 days at a time. This is your record, Mason. 30-something days you've been gone. Hi. He feels good. I feel super cold, so I wonder. Yeah, yeah he, he must have, he oh, must have been trapped. Skinny. Oh, buddy. Well, let's feed you. Oh, yeah, he's super But super he's cold. got lots of activity. It's like he found enough to eat. Yeah, let's get you something to eat. Yeah. Though. Welcome home, Mason. Hold on, check his ear behind his right ear. His fur looks a little funny there. Or is oh, it yeah. just. A tuft. Was it an injury? Oh yeah, he's got an injury there. What's up with your head? Let me see that. Or is it just his fur? I don't know. We'll check him over and give you guys a report. But our Mason is home. So the, the day I finally make a video and admit to everyone that you've been gone and I was... I was in full mourning for you, and here you are, <laughs> the prodigal son. Yeah, and his ear is fine. I checked it out, and it's just the, the way his fur was sitting. Yeah, you're so happy, and he's still got his collar on. Mason came back after a month in the winter with serious, severe storms, so... I think he found shelter somewhere and got locked in someone's garage. There's, most people around here are home every day. They have their garage open every day, but maybe someone who leaves for periods of time. Oh, you puppies? You see the kitty? Yeah? Let's feed him. Mason, you want to eat? Yeah. Is the kitty home? Yeah. Is that your Mason? Kira's really curious about why Mason was gone and why he's home now. Kira, Kira's just totally paying attention to Mason. And Mason's actually loving it. For those of you that watch my channel all the time, you'll know that Mason doesn't really appreciate dogs, or at least he used to not. And you can see why. I mean, dogs want to lick his face and lick his hind end. Coho's watching this process. Welcome home, Mason. Welcome home. I'm just so shocked. Karen and I are both really shocked. And so are the dogs, of it, apparently. Kira's like, this Mason guy is pretty cool after all. No. It's very new to, to uh, Coho to have Mason around. I mean, to, uh, what's your name? Kira. Something with a K. Too many K names. Right? <laughs> yeah, welcome home. He's saying hello, you two Balonians. Yeah, Rika, is the kitty home? Yeah. And he's so nice to you guys. Yeah, did you have time to think about these dogs? I guess you'd rather be in a warm house with dogs than be in some cold environment outside in a snowbank or something. It's a mystery to us where he was. Must have gotten trapped in somewhere. Oh, there. Now now he's in his, his old self. <laughs> you let him have it there, Mason. You tell, those, you tell those puppies who's boss. Hey, no. No. You leave the kitty alone. He wants... He, they're just awful. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, Reek is so happy the cat's home, which just blows me away. Absolutely. She's being such a kind dog for the toward the cat. Reek is like, where have you been? We can't go missing for 30 days. No. It's almost like, like Mason could feel my pain as I created the video and admitted to myself and admitted to you guys that he was missing. I honestly figured 
beyond 20 days, he's never survived, or he's never been gone that long. There's no way he could survive, because this winter has been far more harsh than any other winter we've had. And he was gone during the worst of, of the weather. He left when it was a fairly decent night, and he escaped. And a lot of you are going to ask, why do you keep letting him escape? Outdoor cats, if you've had a cat who, who is destined and determined to be an outdoor cat, first of all, good luck to you if you think you're going to keep that cat in the house. But second of all, this is a household with six animals that live here and uh, daughters that have dogs that come and visit. And we have family members coming in and out. We have three exits at least. And there's a lot of comings and goings at different odd hours. And uh, keep in mind, I have two of the animals are puppies. I guess I had I said six. I'm used to thinking of Sadie around. But yeah, we have two dogs, three cats, one cat who always is working to escape. And when when you're passing in and out constantly all day and all night, there's no keeping that cat in. Most of the time I catch them, but not all the time. And he's going to keep getting out, I, I guarantee it, because he came from the outdoors. He wants to return to the outdoors. And maybe, like Sammy, a lot of you that have been watching us for many years vaguely remember Sammy, maybe. Maybe you really remember him. I shouldn't say you vaguely remember him. But he was, the reason I say that is, Mason, or uh, Sammy was not on our videos, really. He wasn't featured. Sadie kind of was, but it was mostly about our family and our daughters. And uh, uh, Sammy came to us at uh, being one years old. I adopted him when he was one. And um, he was determined to be an outdoor cat. And we allowed that. But Mason, I worked very hard to not have him go outside. Because he's not very street smart. Although I think he's gay of experience no idea where he where he's been the stories he could tell but yeah I and I guarantee he'll get out again now I started looking at GPS collars that um, would be a, a novel idea chipping him doesn't help us track him chipping helps if he's brought to a pound and then they can read the microchip but chips don't help when he's like roaming around the neighborhood nobody can find him with a microchip it's only if he's found and brought to a place that can read that like the pound well the pound knows very well about sammy or mason mason the pound knew about sammy too but he never like left the neighborhood uh, mason goes missing when he gets out this is the second time he's gone missing for more than uh 20 days and I'm astounded. Karen and I both are astounded that he's alive. After the two two of the worst blizzards I actually have ever seen. Both blizzards crippled all the traffic, even right here in town. Uh, it, 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 all of our family members got stranded where we live and couldn't work, couldn't go to anything. Not even the grocery store. I went early when it started to get milk. Everyone needs milk when there's a storm, right? Anyway, Mason is back home, and we are there. very, very thankful. Maybe you guys have been praying hard and good vibes and all that. And, you know, Mason, I think, felt, I honestly think he felt my pain when I was making the video because he showed up within 24 hours of that video. And uh, I did not want to make that video. It's like admitting to your parents that you did something wrong. I let him out. I didn't, but he snuck out. He got past me when I was dealing with the dogs coming in and out, going potty. And it was at night. It was a very cold winter night. I didn't even, I can't even believe that he tried to even get out. And then he jumps off the deck. That There's, there's a moment where I can say, Mason, no. And he could turn around and come back in. When he jumps off the deck. Even in the summer, he'll leap. It's a one-story jump, and he always lands gracefully and runs away. And in the past, in the summer, 
I was able to get the dogs to corral him and chase him back. But in the winter, they couldn't get through the heavy snow. They couldn't even catch up to him. Thank you guys for your prayers. You're too skinny, bud. Yeah, you're too skinny. Yeah, we'll get you back to health. Although you're looking pretty healthy, but cats hide their illness very well. And the fact that he's malnourished is a very serious situation. I talked to my vet immediately, and we're going to get him nursed back to health. No kitty food for you. You're going to get chicken broth and beef broth, and we're, we're going to be having to research and ask um, professionals what they do to nurse a cat back to health when they're this malnourished. Welcome home, buddy boy. Yeah, you're so little. He's under six pounds, just under. So we'll be getting him as much food as he needs. We're in little increments, many feedings a day. He gets something every hour. Lots of water, although he hasn't been thirsty, so he must have had a source of water wherever he has been hunkering down. <laughs> Yeah, you little rascal. So, anyway, Mason's back, and uh, I thank you guys for your thoughts and prayers and good vibes and and just your uh, wonderful expressions of condolences. And I uh, feel guilty. Number one, that I let him go, but number two, that now I'm telling you guys. Uh, well, that yesterday I told you he was missing, and he was. He had been missing. It was very close to 30 days, and I was very sure it was the owl that got him, and I'm so thankful he didn't. Mason's healthy but extremely emaciated. He's very, very skinny, so we're going to be working to nurse him back to health. I called the vet within five minutes of him getting into the house to ask for help uh, on his nutrition. And to nurse him back to health. Although he's pretty healthy. He has a very good activity level. He has not slept since he's gotten in here. And he's been sitting on my lap. And meowing at me constantly. The dogs have given him kisses. The cats have licked his ears. They're all happy he's home. And I, I, I know you guys are too. He's a big part of our story. He's one of the major. Major reasons. Why you guys watch this channel. And he's. He's been my main man for the cats. I love Ko Koda and I love Koho too. And yet Mason has been the one that I've had to work the hardest to keep him alive. And obviously he keeps disappearing on me and he's jerking me around. He's jerking you guys around. And uh, I'm so sorry to tell you guys he was missing when, when in fact he wasn't dead. I honestly thought he was. And I'm so that he's back. Too cute. Yeah, he's purring. Very quietly. He's a quiet purrer. Welcome home, buddy. Mason Cat is home. I am so thankful. So... I'm feeling, Karen and I are both feeling very grateful. Our whole family was very sad about this. We thought for sure Mason was gone. I'm sorry that, that I pulled you guys through this and all this drama. And then here he is. It's, it's a good ending, I guess. It's worth, I, I was super sad and didn't want to tell you guys. And I held off for a long time, hoping that he'd come back. And then the little booger comes back just within 
like 24 hours of that of that when I made that video and I spent a lot of time creating that video and mixing it together and getting getting it uploaded took forever because I tried a new setting it's cinematic so if you look back at that video it's it's in cinematic view but it took a long time to upload and uh, by the time I got everything uploaded and everything and you guys are writing fantastic comments um, I had to sleep on it and then Mason shows up like and I'm so I don't want to say that you guys are great giving great supportive comments and uh, by the time I uploaded this video Mason shows up and I'm very thankful to be announcing this to you guys today thanks for watching frosty life we lost Sadie to old age but we didn't lose Mason I'm so thankful for that. That little bugger better not sneak out again. I guarantee he will. He's, uh, I'm actually immunizing him and, and uh, giving him pills and things, medications in the past six months for being an outdoor cat. Because I know that's going to be a reality. That cats, if you own a cat and you're able to keep it in, then you must be either single and have nobody and no other animals in the house. Or you're better than me keeping your cats in i'm open to comments and suggestions but our doors are always open here it's, it's impossible but we'll try harder i guarantee that Coho is very happy right now. we all are look at that all the animals welcome him back with super amounts of love lots of snuggling gonna happen here oh aren't you cute you have lots of youtubers watching you you're such a good boy. And it was seven years ago yesterday we adopted this little guy. He's not so little now. <laughs>